Well, this is the Firefly 8S, and it appears that Firefly has released a new firmware for the 8S for the 170 and the 90 degree version that I have. This is the 170 degree version. Let's see how the gyro still does handheld. So I know one of their latest updates on the gyro was really nice because it really improved the stability. They call it the gyro 2.0. Right now I'm shooting 1080p, 60 frames per second. The image on the back of the screen looks very nice. Unfortunately I can't read Chinese so I don't know what the uh, change log is. I do know that the back menu system has changed up a little bit and the microphone settings have changed. I've got the microphone at 90% right now. We'll just see if that's a little bit too loud as compared to the 80% that I used to run. So this is at 90%. And now this is the microphone set at 80%. I said so the image looks good on the back of the screen. I've always liked the Firefly. I thought it was a very good camera. You know, there's a few of those cameras out that you sit there and you go, these are nice, high-quality cameras. And what I mean by these, when you take out the GoPro, take it out of the mix, and you take, like, the Sony X3000 out of the mix, because those are your name brands, and you look at SJ Cam, you look at Thei, and you look at Firefly, and uh, you go, wow, these cameras are really starting to step up their game in quality. Now I've got the Firefly, the new one, the H, I'm sorry, the 8SE. That one should be here in about a week. And I look forward to testing that one out. But I just figured I'd show everybody, hey, there's a new firmware. So if you got the Firefly 8S, there's a new firmware available for you. Check it out. All the image on the back of the screen looks good. By the way, we go out of town for a couple of days to Boston. We come back and now the pool was green yesterday. So had to shock it and filtering it out and can almost see the bottom drain down there. But it'll be ready for the rest of the day or by the end of the day so we can jump in the pool because it's like 102 degrees right now.